Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. Still in Psalm 119. I think I've said it before in these videos, um, but uh, I have to correct my error. Um, speaking towards verses uh, 150, there's 150 chapters in the Psalms. Uh, there's a lot more verses than that uh, than in one. 19 and because I was encountered by that because we're starting in Psalm 119 verse 121 and that is the section of Ayin. Ayin, we're going to pay and Sade um, and uh, within those uh, we are really speaking towards God's deliverance. We're speaking towards the righteousness of God and his law, his word um, as we continue to walk forth in that and just once again uh, if you want to think about uh, the subject of the matter of these psalms, it's always God. God and his deliverance. God and his righteousness. God and his word. God and his ways. God and his wisdom. God and his love for his people. And so within these places, it's always really a worship time, an invitation to worship, to really meditate upon who God is and what he has done. Not just for this psalmist, but also for you and me. What his declaration, what his grace continues to enable us to do is be able to actually walk in his righteousness, to actually live in his love, to actually meditate and pay attention to the direction of his word. That's the only way that we can do that by the spirit. And so within that, and that kind of little bit of abbreviation of an introduction, we are in Psalm 119 verse 121, the section of Ayin. I have done what is righteous and just. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Ensure your servant's well-being. Let not the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail looking for your salvation, looking for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your love and teach me your decrees. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. It is time for you to act, O Lord. Your law is being broken because I love your commands more than gold, more than go pure gold, and because I consider all your precepts right. I hate every wrong path. Deliver me. Do what you need to do. Do what you would do to, your, to the people that aren't walking according to your ways to your path that are outside of your righteousness, outside of your ways, and being able to actually know that those people are against me. But I, I'm going to follow your laws. I'm going to follow your way. I'm going to follow and meditate and frankly put my life into the way of you, of your way, because your spirit is leading me. See, there's that separation there of being able to know those of the Spirit actually walk in truth and those not of the Spirit are not walking in the ways, but rather in the worldly fashions of this way. Where there is oppression, where there is mockers, where there is uh, places that are not within the realm of God's kingdom. And so, while we hate every wrong path because the Spirit is leading us to the path of truth, deliver us from those who actually tempt us or maybe uh, push us into the way of that path. We go forth in that next section of pay, verse 129. Your statutes are wonderful, therefore I obey them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may obey your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your decrees. Streams of tears flow from my eyes, for your law is not obeyed. It's an emotional thing. <laughs> an emotional thing of being able to know that I just want to walk in your ways. I see around me your laws not being obeyed or not even being desired, not even being devoted towards. And it brings me to a state of tears in my eyes, pain in my heart. But direct me 
while I like to point around to others and see that they're not following your law, may it not be that law that actually convicts me as well, that my fingers are pointing and I'm convicting or conducting what they're doing rather than, as it says, make sure right here, direct my footsteps according to your word. While I can't change anybody around me, I can look in that mirror and know that you are working in me through your law, through your precepts, through your statutes, and may I walk according to them. Others may not, but that's no excuse for me not to. Because that next section of Tzadeh here says in verse 137, Righteous are you, O Lord, and your laws are right. The statutes you have laid down are righteous. They are fully trustworthy. My zeal wears me out, for my enemies ignore your words. Your promises have been thoroughly tested, and your servant loves them. Though I am lowly and despised, I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is everlasting, and your law is true. Trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands are my delight. Your statutes are forever right. Give me understanding that I may live. Give me understanding. That I may live. I don't come to that understanding on my own. Give me understanding that I may live. Live in your commands. Live in your precepts. Live according to your righteous laws. Trouble and distress have come upon me. Yet, even in trouble and distress, even in the circumstances that we just are encountered within life, yours, as here, your statutes are forever right. Those troubles and distress, may they not lead me away from walking in your ways. May they not distract me from how righteous and true and right your ways are. And I'm walking in those rather than giving into my trouble and distress, giving into the things that are are not of God. And I walk in that path. No, never let that be. Rather, help me look in the mirror. Help me turn And just walk in your ways because your ways are righteous. Your laws are there for me. Good statutes, precepts. Your statutes are forever right. And I need, instead of leaning towards, as I always lean towards the way of this world, give me understanding that I may live in you, that I may live in your ways, that I may live in your truth and in your law. Your righteous laws deliver me Help me, give me understanding. A great section of the psalm that makes it very relevant for our lives, our circumstances, of being able to say, deliver me from my oppressors. Continue to put your law. Help me to be able to continue, not to point to those oppressors, not to point to anything else in life, rather than really being able to direct my own heart if by your spirit. And help me, give me understanding that I may live according to your ways. God is the subject always. He is doing his work, and he's doing that work in and through you and me. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.